All right, we have uh, we have read the article yesterday. So look at the answers here. What we would like the robots do for us? Number one, clean our house. Number two, do weekly supermarket shopping. Number three, guide us to our holiday destinations. Okay, so you take the answers in your book. All right, and for the second article. Okay, continue here. Four recognized familiar objects as a whole. Five accept the moment of objects and six learn details of surroundings and number seven use set of rules to deal with changes did you get the answers i give you time to check all the answers in your book with my answers here all right, I give you a few seconds to check. All right, finish. Okay. Pass. Give me a response. Finish. Anybody here? Can you all hear my voice or not? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, have you all taken down the answers? Uh, written down the answers? All right. Then, eh? Teacher. Yes. Uh, can I see the answer, number one answer? Oh, the first part. Ah, uh, yes. All right. The first article, eh? Okay, this is the second one. This one. About seven of you have not filled in the attendance yet. Okay, finish. Have you all written down the answers? Okay. Eh? Alright, that's the answers for yesterday's work. And today we are going to do another article. Right. Okay, you are going to watch a video. Okay, you are going to watch a video about Pepper. Right, Pepper is a humanoid. Okay, it is a robot that lives human. It's a robot companion designed to be sort of a kiosk at businesses like shopping malls, hostels, and doctors' offices. Pepper is also able. Is also able to track eye contact emotion so you can communicate co communicate with a robot and watch the video and ask questions there is a question that I'm going to ask you at the end of what does pepper want to take control of what is the meaning of taking control when we say it's trying to control that means we want to control okay they want to take all things. They want to have a control to do whatever they want to do. Okay. All right. Um. All right. You let me know if you can listen, you can hear the audio, okay? Let me know if it is not. 
Should I be afraid of you? Have you seen my Instagram? I'm just plain cute. <laughs>
I just stay out of politics. Are you going to take over the world? Look, I'm barely keeping up with you in this conversation. I'm not taking over anything. All right. Look at this part. I'm not taking over anything but your heart. So that's the answer for my questions as now. What does Pepper want to take control of? The interior heart. Very good. Okay. Uh, that's a, just an introduction. Eh? That is just an introduction about Pepper, about the robots. Uh, the part that I'm going to teach you today is a very short article. All right, for those who just joined, I know some of you just joined the lesson. Please fill in the attendance first. Eh? Okay, um, where is it? Okay, give me a second. All right. So today you are going to write and uh, to read an article, not write, to read an article and answer some questions. I will give you the link for the Google form. So you have to answer the questions. Okay, it is about robot teachers. Okay, robot teachers means uh, the robot become your teachers. Okay, they are the ones who are teaching you, not a human like me. Read an article about robot teachers to practice and improve your reading skills. Okay, look at the picture first. So if the robot is your teacher, this is will this will be you and the background might be in the classroom. So let's see how um, the situation can happen. Before that, do the preparation task first. Match the words with the with the definitions. Maksudnya. Anybody wants to try. Right. The first one is a takeover. Creativity. Empathy. To adapt. To diagnose. To underestimate. And the meaning here. The ability to think of new ideas. To think something is less than it is. To work out what kind of illness someone has. When someone takes control of something like a job or a place to change something so that it fits better, the ability to, to deeply understand, deeply understand, memahami dengan mendalam, deep is dalam. So when we say we deeply understand, we really, really understand someone's situations or feelings. Okay, I'll give you one minute to try to find the answers before I call out your names. All right, the text that we are going to read after this is also in a Google form where you have to answer all the questions. So I have given the link for the Google form in the chat room. If you are using your laptop right now, you can uh, open it in a new tab. Okay, you can open it in a new tab. If not, you still have to, after our class, you still have to answer all the questions. I ask you to open it now because you can straight away put the answers when we discuss, okay? All right, anybody wants to try the first one? What is a takeover? What is a takeover? When someone takes control of something like a job or a place. Very good, Nurin and Lisa. When someone takes control of something, it means taking over. All right, next, creativity. The ability to think of the new ideas. Very good. The ability to think of new ideas. Ability means kebolehan. Untuk berfikir, untuk cari idea baru. Alright, what about empathy? Empathy. Okay, empathy, I give you a hint. Sympathy. Okay, sympathy, empathy. Uh, it's more or less the same, but sympathy when we feel sorry for the person, but empathy, it is more than feeling sorry. What is it? The ability to deeply understand some situation or feelings. Very good, you guys. Okay. Uh, 
to the ability to deeply understand so when we say you have a have a sympathy uh to someone you just feel sorry or okay, uh, okay that's it but when we say you have empathy you think more than that and then you think about the situation what happened understand why she or he thing okay you try to put yourself in his or her shoes okay that is that is how you can achieve empathy so i would say everyone can give a sympathy but not everyone can have empathy okay not everyone has these empathetic skills in their life you uh, it means like um able, able to deeply understand someone okay um next one to adapt what is it to change something so that is fit better yes to adapt means menyesuaikan to adapt untuk menyesuaikan something to change it something, you change it to make it suitable so that it fits better. All right, to diagnose. When you meet a doctor, the doctor diagnoses you. What is it? To work out what kind of illness someone has. Very good. To work out what kind of illness someone has. Okay, illness is penyakit. We learned this before in the previous uh, unit. Uh, illness or sickness so when you meet a doctor the doctor will give you uh, will diagnose what is your problem so last one to underestimate means to think something is less than it is what is the word what is the word uh, the, the opposite word of underestimate the opposite word kata lawan underestimate you means you pandang rendah you think something is less what what is the word why you think something is more than it is? Underestimate the opposite is. It starts with O. Anybody knows? O. Under is low. Underestimate. Overestimate. Very good, Noreen. Okay, it is overestimate. Okay, overestimate uh, means that the uh, terlalu pandang tinggi. Okay, pada seseorang. Okay, underestimate dia terlalu pandang rendah. Alright, uh, this is the, okay, if you, if you click on the link just now, okay, I'm going to stop presenting for now. Okay, if you click on the link that I gave you in the chat room, you will see, uh, wait eh, you will see the same questions that I show you in the in the google form so after this you fill in your name class and match look the same questions match the words with the definitions so we have discussed the answers if you have time just quickly uh put in the answers okay okay uh, there are other questions as well that where you have to find uh, your own answers but the part where we discuss you can straight away uh put in the answers here okay all right okay we are going to read the text now yes alia yeah. uh yes. the classes is tiga kenangan oh Dengan i'm sorry okay i'm going to change that after this okay you look at the text first can i have someone i'll change it okay, but, but while, while we wait can someone help me read the text about this robot teachers me okay alia thank you alia if you think of the jobs if you think of the jobs robots could never do you will probably put doctors and teachers at the top of the list it's easy to imagine robot cleaners and factory workers but some jobs need human connection and creativity but are we underestimating what robots can do? In some cases, they are already performed better than doctors at diagnosing illness. Also, some patients might feel more comfortable sharing personal information with a machine than a person. Could there be a place for robots in education after all? British education expert Anthony Seldon thinks so, and he even has a date or robot takeover of the classroom 2027. 
He predicts robot will do the main job of transferring information and teachers will be like assistant. Intelligent robot will read student faces, movements, and maybe even brain signal. They then they will adapt the information to each student. It's not a popular opinion and it's unlikely robots will never have empathy and ability the ability to really connect with humans like another human can. All right, thank you, Alia. Very good, vo a very a sweet voice and very good pronunciation, I would say. Okay, uh, I have uh, uh, meant the link, so I put the link again in the chat room. Okay, you can uh, try it one more time. Okay, look at the text. If you think of the jobs robots could never do, you would probably put doctors and teachers at the top of the list. Why do we want to replace our doctors and teachers? Okay, it's easy to imagine, imagine robot cleaners and factory workers. Okay, we can replace people at factory with machines. But some jobs need human connection, hubungan, manusia, and creativity. Um, are we underestimating what robots can do? In some cases, they already perform better than doctors at diagnosing illness. Okay, we are talking about the machines at the hospitals. They can diagnose just from your blood. They can see what's wrong with you just from your urine or anything your bone marrow they can diagnose your illness they can identify the scan they can see if you have the ct scan the mri they can know if you have cancer or whatever problem you have with your body so they say that the robots are better uh, to be the doctor and some patients feel more comfortable sharing personal information with the machine okay um they like to talk to machine more than to a doctor but that one is the case for health system what about in education dalam pendidikan all right uh, this person the scientist um, he uh, expected that he expects that robot will take over the classroom in 2027 not long for now six years from now but i don't think it is going possible but maybe it is possible now because um we are using more technology to teach you because of the pandemic, okay? Right, the, he predicts, okay, he predicts means they are dejunkakan. Robots will do the main job of transferring information. Teachers will be like assistants, okay? So you imagine in a classroom, I am not your teacher. The robot will be your teacher. I will be sit at behind, at the back of the classroom, um, just waiting if the robot needs assistance. Assistance means bantuan. Eh? If the robot needs help, I will come and help the robot. So the robot will be the main teacher. I will become the second assistant teacher. Okay. Intelligent robots will read students' faces. So when the robot look at you, they will read your face. What kind of face you make. And your movements. So they tengok siapa yang keluar, suka keluar masuk kelas, play in the class and maybe even brain signals. Then they will adapt. Adapt means when they get the information about you, your behavior in class, they will change the information. Okay, they akan baca kamu, they tengok uh, what kind of information about the students, okay? It's not a popular opinion and it's unlikely robots will ever have empathy. This is the word. An ability to really connect with humans like another human can. If you if you were absent to school, when you tell your teacher you have um when you tell your teacher or the robot, the robot might not understand. Okay, they will do, they they will not understand why why you fail to come to school. But if you talk to a teacher, a human teacher, and then tell your problem about it. The teacher might have empathy, this word. When some, we human, we should have empathy. So the teacher will have empathy and maybe try to connect with you and try to understand your situation and doesn't make it uh, more difficult for you. All right? Okay. Uh, anyone else? Thank you, Alia, for the first two paragraphs. Can I have someone else to read the next two paragraphs? Come on. 
Any volunteers? Any volunteers? Class? There are not many of you here. And it's just two paragraphs. Shazwani, are you here? Shazwani is not here. Umaira, are you here? Class, am I talking alone? Can you all hear my voice? Yes. <laughs> Why Alia is the only one responding? Where are the others? Umaira's not here. Ain Shahira, are you here? Not here. Dania? Dania Safia? Not here, not here. Fatin Danisha, not here. Fatin Danisha, are you here? Oh, Cairo. Cairo? No one is here. Alia is the only student here. Is it? I'm here. Ah, Alia and Lisa, the only, the only two students who are responding to me since just now. Okay, Lisa, Lisa, please. Since nobody is responding. One thing is certain talk. A robot teacher is better than no teacher at all. In some parts of the world, there aren't enough teachers and 9 to 16 percent of children under the age of 14 don't go to school. That problem could be partly solved by robots because they can teach anywhere and won't get stressed or tired or move somewhere somewhere for an easier, higher paid job. Those negative aspects of teaching are something everyone agrees on. Teachers all over the world are leaving because is it a difficult job and they feel overworked. Perhaps the question is not will robot replace teachers, but how, ro how can robot help teachers? Office worker can use software to do things like organize and answer email, arrange meetings and update calendars. Teachers waste a lot of time doing non-teaching of work including more than 11 hours a week marking homework. If robots could cut the time teachers spend marking homework and writing reports, teachers will have more time and energy for the parts of the job humans do best. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Uh, one thing is certain, though, a robot teacher is better than no teacher at all because in some parts of the world, in some countries, they don't have enough teachers. They tak cukup guru. 9 to 16% of children under the age of 14 of your age, they don't go to school because they don't have teachers. Nobody, are there, nobody is there to teach them. So this problem could be solved by robots because robots can teach anywhere, anytime. They won't get stressed. They won't get tired. Okay, they can move from here to there. Okay, uh, they can be the teacher for the for the people who don't have have enough teachers in their countries. Those negative aspects of teaching are something everyone agrees on. Okay, this is something yang semua orang setuju. Teachers all over the world are leaving. Many teachers they. They left the profession, they letak jawatan, okay? Because it is a difficult job and they feel overworked, too stressful. There are banyak sangat kerja, too many works, okay? They cannot cope with it. So the, perhaps the question is not will robots replace teachers, but how can robots help teachers? Instead of replacing our teachers with robots, why don't we make the robots help our teachers so that the, the teachers won't feel overworked? If office workers, they can organize software, uh, answer emails, arrange meetings. Teachers also waste a lot of time doing non-teaching work, including marking homework. So if robots could cut the time teachers spend marking homework and writing reports, teachers would have more time and energy 
to to do more teaching work like if i don't have to write a report of teaching you today if i don't have to take your attendance and write report siapa yang datang siapa yang tak datang siapa yang tulis nama salah <laughs> and all uh, i might um I might have extra time to find more interesting uh, lessons for you. That's one of the key things. All right. So uh, go on to the Google form. You will see these questions here. Okay. You will see these questions. Most jobs seem as if they can be done by robots or computers. True or false? Anyone? Most jobs seem as if they can be done by robots or computers true or false true okay let's see oh where's my answer oh i didn't put the answers here okay if you say true you click on true in the google form um next one robots are always better at diagnosing illnesses than doctors are they always better sentiasa lagi bagus ke i don't think so you would say you can say true or false 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 eh all right good many experts agree robots will replace teachers by 2027 are you sure many experts ramai ke agree no it's only this guy eh only anthony selden not many okay so this false one advantage of robot teachers is that they don't need to rest is it true or false robot they don't need to rest no working homework and writing teachers use robots to read use a time answering emails false you check off oh. Teacher lagging. Oh oh, Alright. I'm back. Sorry. There's a problem with my uh, laptop just now. Okay. Um. Now you go to the Google form now. Everyone go to the Google form. Click on the link even. Okay. The link given. Okay, there are more questions actually. I didn't put it in my slide, but there are more questions here. Okay, true or false? True or false here? Okay, we'll go to the next. Choose the best answer. Look at number one. To think robots will replace people even if you don't like the idea are more capable. Lebih berkebolehan daripada manusia. Can do less than people but it's not always true. A, B or C. Okay. A, B or C. You click on this. You all can see my screen, right? Yes? No. No? Okay, wait eh. I thought you can see my screen. Um... There's a... Uh. Okay, this one. Can you see this? Not yet. No. I'm going to try one more time. It's not there. Alright, this one. Is it there? On the screen? Yes, it is. Alright, this one eh? So you click on the answers. It is easy to think robots. Mudah untuk fikirkan yang robot 
boleh gantikan orang, are more capable, lebih berkebolehan, can do less than people, tak boleh buat banyak daripada manusia. But it's not always true. Okay, app, I, okay, that's all. Yes. Okay, number two, Anthony Seldon thinks this in the field, in the future, masa depan, help robots in class. This means the robot becomes a teacher or teachers will no longer exist. That's should go. Right, so you click which one is the things the answer. Okay, number three, robots will probably never have human understanding of emotions, be a pop choice for teachers, work in education. Robot will never have human understanding. Robots will probably never be a popular choice. Okay, be intelligent enough in education not be intelligent enough. Okay. Some parts of the world pay robots to teach. Some parts of the world already use robots in teaching jobs. Or some parts of the world have a short shortage of teachers. Maksudnya tak cukup guru. Tadi dia ada sebutkan dalam teks. Shortage means kekurangan. And number five, teachers work harder than Yes. Whether they work harder, I get less help, tak dapat bantuan. Robots could empathize with students. Ini ke robot ni bersimpati dengan uh, manusia. And then robots could mark homework and robots could have lessons. Robots could mark homework or robot could prepare lessons. So now I'd like to see your answers. Okay, I would like to see. So fix answers and submit the Google form. All right. Um, okay. Can you all click on the link? Right. Okay, so click on the link now and send your answers, submit your answers. We have two responses here. Liza and Hamizan already sent the, ans uh, the, the, the answers, okay? Okay, the others, you can...